This video is sponsored by Audible. I love to sit down with the book every now and then and lose myself in another world. But let's face it, our lives are busier than ever and it's hard to carve out time for reading. Which is why two years ago I decided to give Audible a try and it's one of the best decisions I ever made. With Audible in those two years I was able to experience all of these books. And before Audible I don't think I had read a book in like 10 years. And that's the magic of audiobooks is they allow you to multitask and maximize your daily time that is otherwise kind of wasted. For example, you can listen to an audiobook while commuting to work or while you exercise, maybe when you go for a walk, or ride a bike. With Audible, your library goes with you wherever you are, whether you are online or offline. Right now, I am fully invested in the Expanse book series written by James S.A. Corey. They are so good. If you guys are a fan of the show and haven't read the books, or maybe you didn't even know about the books, you, you gotta read the books. You got to read the books. They are so, so good. Season 5 comes out in December, so you have the opportunity to read up to book 5 without spoiling yourself on anything, really. I'm on book 6, personally, because I'm impatient and I just needed to know what happened because this is such a epic, epic story. So check it out. Use the link below to start your 30-day trial and get yourself a free audiobook to start with. And there's no better time to start the Expanse series than right now. With your free Audible trial, you will gain access to thousands of books in every genre, podcasts, comedy, news publications, exclusive content only found on Audible, and much, much more. It really is a good bang for your buck. It's a great value. So visit audibletrial.com slash the normies to start your 30-day free trial and get yourself a free audiobook to start with. Check it out. There is no better time than now to try Audible. What's up, everybody? It's the normies, and we're back. For the expanse season, oh, <laughs> season five, episode one. You said that for. <sighs> Let's do it again. Just cut it. All right, the, one. The, make, those make, are make, the, psh, okay, fine. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Hey. Hello, everybody. It's the normies, and we are back to watch the expanse <laughs> season five, episode one. It's called. Episode. Rated 16 plus. You look it up. The Adventures of Marco and Aros. We, by the way, are <laughs> honestly, one. Honestly, essentially. Like, we're, <laughs> we are one Earther slash Martian slash. Uh, what the f did he call himself? I'm about to what about What about Pat? And man, Pat oh, yeah. Intro. We're two. We're two of them. And actually, the other Pat, too. There's three of them. We're two of them down. We are down. Uh, two, a, pats and a, two pats and a mic geek. Two, yeah, yeah. Two we're, we're, we're down some folks. They'll be back. For all of you guys that are new here, by the way, I'm Nahid, this is Rana, this is Sir, this is Mickey, thank you, welcome to our Expanse Reactions, I know we're kind of like all over the place, but this is us, this is who we are, enjoy us. We are huge simps for this show. Yeah. Yes, we are. And I wish more people were, because then it wouldn't have gotten canceled. Well, Blind Man started it No, it didn't get, bro, it, it's stopping where it's supposed to stop. I heard like after, no, no I don't know, but I heard like after season six, it's like the next <laughs> stuff is like... It's yeah, like she doesn't want to know that. I don't know. The, the stuff in the book is like like thirty years or whatever oh. years later, so it doesn't. So it like kind of makes sense that they're stopping it right now. That's what I've been told. Guys, I, I don't know. I'm not that far ahead, so I, I don't know how everybody's feeling. But we came off a super spicy and super good last season. They're, they set us up for like a, a exciting season five. I feel. I'm like. shocked that it's been a year. Like yeah. 2020 has just been a blur. And like, holy shit, Expanse is already back. I remember being here last year watching season four. Like, 2020 was not that been, long ago. Yeah, it was, and it was actually fucking dope. 2020 this is actually, has been one big Monday. And this is like the this is like the gift for us for 10 2020. Like, here you go. We know you yeah. had a hard year. Here and, you go. I'm so, I'm I'm really sh I'm I'm wondering how you you know they all pulled it off with the, I mean I'm I'm guessing the shots before the pandemic I think so oh, yeah. Some of it, yeah okay so it makes a lot of sense just letting everybody know we are shooting this during the pandemic the COVID nineteen era it's crazy but we are being safe Serge has already gotten the COVID nineteen he's gotten the vid nineteen all right so we're kind of using them as a cheat code as a buffer for now I know that's not gonna last forever it's, it's, it's not, still it, like under a month since I got like literally consistent symptoms so like I'm, I'm good at least for now yes probably next year we're out to the corner <clears throat> Mickey's over there and we do a pretty good job of seeing each other as well too so we're doing we our best together. we're doing our best 
to stay safe, and we are hoping you are doing the same as well. Let's do it. So let's see this, man. They're, they're bringing the people to destroy them, possibly. The same thing that happened to, you know, that, that proto mile is up to some stuff. So we saw, like, <laughs> we saw what Holden saw through his eyes last yeah, season. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're attracting them buildings. That guy, Rascal. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Proto Michael. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was like a, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a black Smart spear. Snake, it was like a, I don't know. He, he was almost like looking in between things. And he saw how, like, the, the other people were, like, destroyed. So now that's possibly going to happen to them. We, so, yeah. we don't know. We need to stop this. Also, guys, we all know about the, about the news about Cass Anwar. I want to say that we hope he's held accountable. It's, it's tragic that the character is not going to be here for the next season. He is the investigation job. ongoing still? Or is it done? Because if, if it's ongoing, let's... Yeah. I, all the accusations should be taken super yeah, seriously. Yeah. I just feel bad for, like, uh, Ty show. Frank and Daniel Abraham, like, to have a, a creation. And then, like, it kind of muddled by something like this. Really sucks because, mm -hmm. like, it affects the character. It affects the story. Yeah, it and, affects uh, everything. They're, yeah, they're going to have to probably change some, some things next season, which is the last, so. No, but but that is interesting. If he's not going to be in the next season, like, I, I do wonder what... As a book reader? What part of the, what part of the story that's going to impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let us begin. Let us begin. Regardless, we're excited. Let's do this. Remember, this is not a market substitute for the actual expanse the show please support the og content on amazon watch it over there in the beautiful 4k go watch it there then come watch it with us if you want to jump ahead check out our patreon our uncuts are on there as well where we say a lot of crazy things like our beginning discussion that you probably didn't see but your uncuts will see oh, yeah, if you can't do either of it. that please <laughs> comment like or subscribe hit the bell right there for notifications how excited are you guys for this shit? I'm oh, excited. We're all dude. excited. It We're just, ready for this. This was like a nice treat that came out of nowhere. I'm like, yeah. I wasn't expecting it. And I'm like, oh, give it to me. Let's probably probably one of the better parts of 2020. All right, let's Literally. do this. Time we haven't even seen a single second. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, oh Jesus. That's how excited we are. What did the remote do to you? Yeah, there you go. He's going to pick up the slack where uh, Cass Anwar might have dropped it. <laughs> Like spice. I like spice. That is so pretty. Rock number that. nine. It's gorgeous. Item nine. Illegal. Did you read the other specifics? Nope. Iron core, 21 megaton impact. 21 megaton impact? Uh, capability. Mickey has read the books. But he shall not spoil it. Is that the man Bobby from Supernatural? Oh man. No, don't please. Wow. Oh, beautifully fucked up. Damn. Wow. All right. Naomi, there's no getting your son back. I hope he ain't fucking around, man. They just, these guys are straight up. What are you up. taking in the information on the rock? Mm. These guys straight up like surviving that shit, bro. Could you just imagine just like being able to just be okay with free floating across space, no fear, no nothing, dude? There's <sighs> space pirates. This is real pirate shit we've seen now. I know. Oh man, this is so dope. Yeah, flexing. Damn, bro, that's just, dude, they're in space. Better coordination than I'll ever get on Earth. Yeah, the theme slowly creeping in in the back. Is that Bobby? It is. No time, bro, sorry. Oh. Hey! Oh. That's one of your people, man, come on. There's no way he's getting out. Yeah, it's too late. But they don't need to watch sadistically. Oh my. Wow. These effects are just. Yesterday I was watching the Chris Kazad video explaining a nuclear uh, blast in space on the moon. It's really crazy how they explained it. Listen, look at this, it's so haunting and like beautiful looking. You know the same right. Flexing, dude. Straight flexing. Ooh. This, is like, like, this could be this Star Wars. Is, this is a continuous shot. Man. This is so dope. Bro, this is about to be the wire season two in space. 
Cinematography. He's one shots. Mm. There's been like three long one shots already. And your ship has been taking up a valuable slip for way too fucking long. Now from now on, that's so fucking cool. There's those little details of them like reacting to the ship. Like this feels like during Universal Studios or something. I call that stealing. Who's flag is flying? Belter's trying to be more legit, honestly. I can see where he's coming from. I have something for you. The man? Mm-hmm. Naomi and Fred, bro. They back. The expect. Belter Skiff was put into repairs at Palace Station two days ago. This is your son. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be rough. Damn. Well casted, they look like each other. Yeah. Dominic Tipper, you are amazing. Real emotion on your face. And this man worked out. Yeah, he got tougher. Yeah, I remember him being skinny as fuck in season four. Kit Harrington is now diet C. Stephen Strait. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Fortunes for calling this. Yeah. So they've been going out. It's like the great expansion. It's like the California gold rush. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Damn. Because like, because the new leadership is something like, okay, yeah, everybody go explore. Like, let's let us let the free market happen. I, I'm kind of for that. I think it's a bad idea, but. I mean, yeah, they don't know what they're fucking with with the proto molecule, but yeah, yeah. it it makes sense from like a political point of view. <clears throat> like they're running out of resources now. They're they're able to mine and get all these things. Like that's that's good news for everybody. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So long as. Except Proto Molecule doesn't <coughs> just come back. Except Mars, because they've been terraforming for like a generation and now it doesn't matter. It's like, well. Yeah, that was the one that they were talking about, because Mars was trying to be like, yo, let's, let's abandon our situation right now. Take you the wrong place, Copain. Just pass step one. Wait <laughs> and Jenny for changing bounds. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Granny's is me going to bed every night. <laughs> There's some PTSD behind those eyes. She needs pills to go to sleep, but she can't. Or maybe Amos is thinking about his past. So, we have a new service for passenger, uh, but we get insurance before when we board. This one is fine. This one covers everything. <laughs> Optional, of course, but pay if you want. No. Present again. You never know what could happen if you don't. This guy. There was a time I got caught in a reactor crawl space when a coolant pipe blew. Get those radioactive particles down in your lungs where you can't get them out. That pretty much melts you from the inside. I learned that I could hold my breath for almost two minutes while engaging in physical stressful activity. So? But so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are cracking me up. You have to ask yourself, how much damage do you think I can do to you in two minutes before the knockout gas gets to me? Ooh. Because I'm Betty. It's alive. Ah. Amos is back. This is textbook Amos. And nobody in this cabin pays for any of your insurance or anything else from now on. Oh my god. It says you? It says me. Oh, where are you going? I'm gonna go take a shower. You crazy kid? Yeah? You know what they're gonna do in there? Yep. Hey, Wayne. Oh. They're gonna have to. Oh. <laughs> 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 he was like, hey, wait. We must be stupid. Those two back in the cabin, it was gonna pay. I don't know for now. Are you dumb? Oh my god, that's all we need to see. Why? <laughs> Man, you gotta see the whole thing at least. Come on, bros. Look, no, you got a little fucked up though. That's good. He 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 also is looking for fights all the time. <gasps> oh! This is a good way to do it. <laughs> I love this music. Damn! <laughs> the crazy look in his eye. Bro. By the way, he has like the two most cutest kids in real life. I wonder if they see his dad go like psycho again. <laughs> Daddy beat the Batman up. I'll take another. 
They're like adorable. Oh, it's a reality show, bitch. So did you get a but They're going to her deaths. Relax. We're not on the record. <laughs> you are such a bitch. They're lying. How would you know? Because why else would someone be doing cloning molecular research at a secret facility in the world? That sounds like a rumor. But you clearly don't think it's impossible. The entire system trusts you. Because you are always on the right side of things like this. And we're That's on a good the same thing. side. Bratna! Bratna! Uh, even the bells are fucked with this man. What's good? <laughs> My peoples are with them. If there's any more of it out there, who knows what it'll do next? Is there any out there, guys? I keep forgetting. Was there some found on the ship or something? Like a little resident, little I titty resident? There is see? definitely some hidden out there. I think Fred had a sense. Yeah. I don't know why Fred would be experiment. I don't know why anyone's messing with it. James seems surprised at that. Man, the composite work is so fucking good. Yeah, just got about it, there. Like to change the rack focus. Yeah, that was rather the timing to pull focus too. And uh, it, it, their their crew knows what they're doing. They're like a well-oiled machine. I have a client who's in the market for Mark 23 blades. What makes you think they have access to something like that? Do you? Oh yeah, she's into some dirty shit now. I forgot. Not technically dirty, but she's trying to get down to the conspiracy of the Martian government or whatever. Like I said, we're done. Right? Isn't she into some? I think so. I can't remember exactly Mars, what she Mars was is going to some shit. Their their economy is pretty much falling apart. She was like she was like meeting and then like she got almost called out for it. Yeah, like first she was against those guys yeah. doing it, and then she like started helping them. I think. My team to purchase power on was successful and confirmed my suspicions that a major supplier of black market weapons is routing them through a Syria base. She's working for a, a Varsarala, duh. Unfortunately, I don't. They do literally said it in the recap. The best play I have left is to try and obtain some classified stealth torpedoes. It's risky, but anyone who can get their hands on that kind of ordinance has to be near the top of the chain. I truly appreciate your faith in me, ma'am, and I do not intend to let you down. It's a lot of money. Man, she looks like she's gonna do some shit. I'm trying to save her home. She's like Captain America from Mars. Oh, yeah, go down. Sorry, you see what this <laughs> Boss Mike, get out. I'm boss Mike. Close the door behind you. Do you know Dude. who I am, bro? I, I'm allowed to walk into any door. He really has become way cooler than Jon Snow. <laughs> Yeah, Jon Snow is Diet you Holden. Yes. We take our words back. <laughs> Why would you ask me that? You're not denying it. Who told you? Oh. It doesn't matter. Our protomolecule is secure. And don't ask me where it is. These entities created the artifact and destroyed the protomolecule builders. Wiped out their whole civilization in an instant. And now we're using their rings. You're saying these... He just said he they could take on a fucking planet. <laughs> what the fuck, Fred? Are you kidding me? Every time I pass through a ring, it's like I pass through their world. Thousands of people have gone through the rings. No one's reported ever seen anything like this. I'm special. <laughs> Tell me, how many people has this artifact killed? None so far, and nothing else like it has been found on any of the other colonies. Not yet. So in other words, I mean the. You didn't know about the proto molecule at one point, bro. Pure speculation. Mm. Oh my god. I just can't believe he shot That's just the pure science and Fred talking. I guess not too many people know, like, oh, they, they mean to threaten us? To do us harm? Yeah. And the OPA is policing the belt without any assistance. Then we'll talk about getting rid of the proto molecule. Don't accept the drink and listen to him. Hmm. <laughs> at the same time, maybe research does need to be done, though, you know? I don't know. I like what you said, nothing's ever going to change, because nothing does change. My life really didn't begin until I stopped fighting and started building. You got a ship of your own, someone who loves you and you love? Go build something with her. You're not responsible for the world. You're so meaningful with the time you have in it. Dude, I cannot have heard truer words right now. Mm. Dude, that is... Yeah, I love everything they said. He said That's nothing's so ever gonna true. change. And what he said right there, the world will go on without you, which is a fact. It will go on without you. I hope should settle down now, man. I'm, I'm, how long he knows too much. For? He's special. True. It's like burdened with it. Opportunity to be on the ring. So man, yeah, there's yeah. And, and that's an ad taking place on Mars, so so it just feeds into like people people are like leaving and shit, you know. 
I'd do it. Shit. Shit, I would do it in Explore a heartbeat. Explore a new world. Elon Musk. Elon Ter- Musk. Ter- Ter- I'll be your like monkey. Send me to space. Project. So, like, it's it's completely, like, pointless now. Like, that everything they did for Mars is, like, pointless now. Yeah. And so, that's what we got from the last one. Because, like, basically, yeah, because... Like, all that technology and work is just kind of plummeting. I want to see you. And us. He's away. Field trip for school. Oh, hey, hey. Listen. You gotta let him see his son, at least. I needed to talk to you. I mean, he just straight up been gone. <laughs> just coming out of the blue like this? Which answer are you looking for? I don't understand. I say we're fine and you're off the hook. You don't have to feel guilty about abandoning us because we're fine. No, no, that's not Or right. I say we're all broken up about it and you get to feel loved and missed, so... Which one are you looking for? <laughs> well put. Here's the answer. You don't get to know. Nice. You're not a part of our lives anymore. We don't owe you any closure. Nice. Damn. Yep. That's... That's church. That's church. And when do you get back? In like two weeks. Okay. I can hang out till then if you want. Okay. If you want. Um, I kinda gotta go. My friends are... Sure, no problem. Hey, I love you. Damn. It's been a while since you guys talked in real time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, since that time you abandoned us. <laughs> yeah, when you, you know, just didn't call her right. <laughs> when you when you left for a number Those of years. Those compadres. Oh my god, Alex says that my dad went out for groceries and never came back. Uh, this is kind of, it's the cowboy stuff because Mars is like all cow, <laughs> like, right? A lot of, a lot of Didn't Texans made it to Mars. I'm kind of unemployed. Oh, well I guess uh, someone's your training. Not much for a court martial for in these days. Guess not. Well, I guess times like this, that's what family's for, right? How's that brother? Going? Yeah. We haven't been in touch for a while. Oh my oh, god. Man, this is like <laughs> awkward <awesome laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Why? How are things? Shitty. You? Shitty. Well, some things can't be fixed and sometimes you're a fucking moron to try. Oh, okay, that's no way to be. Jesus Please. fucking Christ, if you wanted to be your son's hero, you should have shown up three years ago. What? Get it through your head. It's over. Move on. Wow. Did you say it had been ten years, Mickey? Or three Firehawk! Years. Is it Firehawk Whiskey? I, mean, I see you, man. I see y'all. I saw that. But she said three. Okay. Why she said Good, because I mean, even travel to Illis and back was like a year and a half. Sorry, each Fred. Each way. I know where my son is. I have chartered a freighter bound for Palace. Okay, we'll get packed. You're not no, coming. No, you're not I... coming. Oh, why? I leave in a few hours. She's gonna get kidnapped. You can't do this alone. It's too dangerous. If I show up with an Eartha, with James Holden at my side, it's only gonna make things harder. I I'm mean, still the freighter. At least then I'll be close if you need any help. You can't help me. No, with he's right. He's right. Drive somehow. Been able to live with the fact that I saved myself and couldn't save him. His father is gonna get him killed, and if I don't at least try and stop that from happening, so I'll never be able to work. live with that. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know if Philip will uh, can be redeemed. He seemed pretty dead set on killing that guy earlier, like a little apprehension mm. in his eyes, but. Oh, dude, they are killing with the one shots. Seriously, they just went a whole span around her and into it, like. Damn, man, it looks really good. What is that, Lovell City? That's just so cool, man. Lovell City, yeah. The it's, little it's, domes. It's so well thought out, like everything. Yeah. I'm assuming those go circular underneath the surface also, so they're a lot bigger than they look. Yeah. Even. Yeah, I got like chills all over my body. Woo! Yeah, sick. I read this book called Atlas, and they described like ha- having shit on the moon like that in domes. It, they go underground as well, so it's not just the yeah, top you're seeing. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Man, where's <laughs> Christian at? I need to see her once. As soon as she shows up, she's gonna drop three f bombs. Oh, I love it. Who's asking? Burton. First of all, I didn't start it. And second of all, they were all alive when I walked out. <laughs> 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 you can't say times? they were all alive when you walked out. That, no. no. I'm sure he left them alive. They, dude, one he's not, he's not a murderer. One got stabbed in the neck. I'm pretty sure I saw something. Oh, there oh, we go. Why are you going back to Earth? You will not clear customs until you <laughs> Literally, <just laughs> she's using your authority. She was important to me when I was a kid. I'm going back to Baltimore to sell her affairs. Bro, this is gonna be the wire. 
I'm dying. He's going to Baltimore! Damn that fucking belt. He's like, I ain't gonna say no to pick a glass of whiskey. Chrissy? Chrissy? Not your favorite. Yeah. You see a head on her. Have news about our friend in the belt. Can't cry now. I love how she has to pull him to be like, what What are you up to? Huh? Is there some shit going on that I don't know with, with Holden? Because you guys are always up to some fuckery. This is a great scene. But no, he's, yeah, I love that. This looks like a draft. It's most likely a Belcher skiff and possibly a non arbus faction ship. The match is only 53.7%. That's a coin toss, so don't get too excited. Too late. <laughs> 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 That's all you need to know. Yeah. I mean, he took the communication buffer. I should have been paying attention more than that. Like, what did they steal? That was the first thing they took. I was trying to, like... I think they're trying to block communications. We can revert, reverse. Wow. Yeah. Reverse, reverse. Blind. Man, that sucks, dude. They were, like, the pinnacle of, yeah. like... And then they fucked around in a war and fucking lost everything. <sighs> Even if they didn't fuck around, though, this was probably gonna happen, right? I mean, uh, it, it's, due, not, it's no. due to all the rings being discovered. Like, there's so many more planets now. Yeah, yeah. It, so, like, oh, if they hadn't fucked with it in the first place, they yeah. never would have. Okay. Because they, they spent so much of their money and resources. Like, the whole black market thing is, oh, is wow. uh, oh, weapons wow. from that war being resold and shit. Yeah, no, I, I'm aware. I didn't I didn't realize, though, that they had they did have a big hand in the whole Port Molecule storyline. Yeah, yeah, unintended consequences. It's that one general guy that they arrested. <laughs> His fault. And Mal. That's just going for Earth, isn't it? They hate us because they ain't us. 14 days to impact? When we surprised them in all their strength, on that day they will. Dude, I figured he was gonna do this shit. Because they believe we are He's weak. weak. We have the power to be audacious. Very, very good casting for, for him. <laughs> Mickey said that like four times. <laughs> I knew they were gonna do that. I figured they were gonna do that last season. They were gonna oh! I figured they were gonna do that shit. I figured oh! Oh, yeah, we're gonna go to Baltimore next I time. I get stopped so many chills. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Dope, dope, Dude, that's, dope, dope. That's so sad to see what happened to Mars. They were literally like the pinnacle of technological advancement. Dude. Their economy, they're terraforming. Like, imagine that's going there and committing like your families and generations to, yeah. to fix it up, and now anyone, any colonists can just go and yeah. call it. I, I have a weird analogy for this one. I feel like the same thing that's happening to Mars is going to happen to Colorado when legalization turns all around the U.S. How do you, how do you mean? What? No, they're not no. terraforming a planet. No, what I mean by like that, because Colorado in the beginning when legalization happened, they got an influx of a lot of people, a lot of money coming in. And yeah. now Colorado, because everybody's filled up with legalization, everybody's turned homeless. But everybody wants to go to Colorado mm -hmm. because quite, yeah. the only reason everybody gets, all the people that come to Colorado right now are outsiders for like weed because it's so cheap. Yeah. But when that shit goes away and becomes cheap everywhere else, anybody's not going to fucking cold ass Colorado anymore to get some weed? Yeah, yeah, you know cool. what's going to take the no, economy yeah, there? Like Colorado gets a lot of money from outside people that come in all the fucking time. So yeah. I thought that money, that tax money, was going back in. To I mean, bro, it's state, going to it's going to it's everything. going to school and states, but like, bro, you go to Colorado and you see the amount of homeless people that live there, it is fucking crazy. And then like talking about living in Colorado and talking about how much the rent has gotten up. In the last like, like five some, years, some people will just go visit there, and then they're like, "All right, I'm just gonna stay and figure it yeah, out." Yeah, <laughs> and they'll just like they'll 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 work from somewhere else or whatever. You know what I mean? But like, it's a transplant city. Yeah, yeah. It's like Mar I've always wondered, like, when this shit comes legal Mars everywhere State. else, nowhere's gonna come to fucking call. I mean, I don't know. They could. Who knows? I don't know. Mars, Mars had everything but a planet. That's it. That's it. that's all they had. Like they had. A home base, but it wasn't a home yet. No, you know people I mean? wanted like, life. And, like, yeah, they, they want to. Yeah, I'm saying they want to be able to sit and like breathe air and yeah, like yeah. do things, and uh, that is so tragic. It is. It's like an aban. It's like an abandoning a whole city. Like it's in here, like a ghost planet. That's yeah. a movie. Isn't that a movie? No, no, no. Ice Cube. But I, I, it would be far easier for us if we could find other planets to colonize. Like that would be a better option, I think, than trying to terraform Mars or like figure out how that would work because that's going to take 
generations of people. People are gonna go there working on that for Elon Musk, and we're not gonna. They're not gonna see their kids and family ever again. I, th- I think uh, they said it's like a it's like a hundred year process. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It is, but it's like. But it needs to happen because I don't but, think we're gonna find any other planets. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's not even it needs. Well, honestly, dude, we need to get out of this fucking this whole solar system. I mean, in the next million, two million years, bro. Who knows? <laughs> we, we, need, we need to start figuring that shit out. I don't even know if we're gonna live. We only have two million, 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 million years left. We gotta get. We gotta get we, do. we got. I'm, it's, I'm time goes by, man. Y'all seen Doctor Who, man? Shit. But uh, oh man. But yeah, really. Solid it's episode. it's really really sad what's happening in Mars. It's just it's very very tragic because. It was a hope, and it's just like everything's just going outwards. And you know, there's so many families that are like, "Yes, we're gonna be the next strong Martian family." They came in that like threw their kids into this mix and all that, all that. Now they're just really it, remember it, Prax it, it, and his it, daughter. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not. I, it's not really the war that ended Mars. It's it's the rings. Yeah, the rings. Yeah, yeah. And the, and the oh, new yeah. planets. The war. The war definitely dealt them a little bit of a blow. Oh like yeah, some they, they, they spent a lot of resources. The, yeah, and, and they then could when the rings happen and political fallout. I would leave too. Honestly, fuck. I mean, yeah. I'd be gone yeah, too. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Cause like the Martians. Martians were so prideful. Like yeah, they were like very patriotic. Yeah. And like I remember seeing Bobby dream of like being outside and, and like the landscape being having greenery and stuff. And the one thing to also notice, I feel like a lot of the old blood that came into Mars that like had the vision for Mars are very proud of it. They're probably all dead now because like they've been. Yeah. Their kids are probably the ones that are like you know putting forth uh, everything. And also, if you look at it, I mean, Mars is going through the shit anyway. So it's not the best place to live if you were, like, not having money because Bobby sent those people out to uh, the planets, remember? Yeah. The video call, so. I can't believe this is the second to last season, man. I feel like there's so much more story left. I know. that That's the thing that excited me the most about this series, the, the potential for so much story. Because mm-hmm. it seemed like they have this whole world built. But I feel like if... If if the books really have like a soft ending somewhere, I think they would start another show if there was demand for it. Yeah, it's, uh, especially if there's a, a thirty year. Yeah. What's really shitty is Naomi's son, Philippe. Yeah. Like yeah, taking over it. that science, like it has the Simi ship in the beginning and everything, and like so they took information, right? We can obviously re- reverse, but like mm-hmm. there's. Rock they, there's nine. like a communication buffer. I yeah. think they took something to maybe block communication so they can send a missile to Earth. But what? Yeah. But why? Yeah. Terrorists. Just, God dang it. And then, like they yeah. just watched that guy, that poor Andrew, die, and he's like, good job, you're gonna make my dad hmm. proud. Yeah, yeah. And that, but, but I just wanna say. Hey, Bane did so that I, I think they did that, so that scene was a little different in the books. And I think they did that to kind of just like develop uh, a shitty fucking uh, Philip more quickly. Yeah. Like, to bring the conflict in his mind a little bit more quickly. Was there conflict? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Did he like his eyes? I mean, I don't I, feel like he hesitated. Yeah, but he, he, he kind of no, they kind of lingered he, on he him did, just for a second. So maybe he was like, maybe I shouldn't be this heartless about yeah. letting. But then they just watched that Andrew guy die. And he was like, you're gonna make my my you made my father die like proud. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah but like he's he not, said to say that, but then like the camera lingered on him a little bit, and he was I th- possibly. I think th- Mulling it over. I think they did it this way just to introduce them faster. Like they they did a lot of the scenes from the book, but they just did it a lot faster. Like everybody's separated, but in the book they all have like this moment where they're like, "Hey, I'm about to go do this. Hey, I'm about to go do this. Hey, but like they all have like a collective moment together yeah. before they split off. So they, they hit all the beats. They just like kind of. Split I, it up. I, I think it's better that they're split up because then when they when they meet up, it's gonna be yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's like every season and every book is like so different like it, the events like last season we were on a completely different planet in an alien solar system it's just, it's just it's crazy how much the story shifts and the show has always done a really good job of like establishing shots and world building but man the cinematography in this episode like when, dude when, andrew's death yeah and, and yeah. just just when they the were on shots um, yeah. and um the scene after that when they're going through the behemoth like that was a whole one shot and then the, it uh, seamlessly um Gets to oh god Naomi and yeah, yeah Naomi the catwalk, yeah. Yeah. and even when they're like riding that elevator and the elevator like stops and she kind of reacts yeah. to the ship like ah it's so good it's they're, so they're, good. they're very good with their little details and yeah stuff. and on Naomi and Philip real quick when she saw a picture of him and started crying like she's such a great actress like, yeah yeah that was, I was very saying, Dominic, Dominic Tipper I felt the emotion there mm-hmm. she, that was real tears like you can just see how much her son means to her just holding up a picture of him and like last season they they touched on it and teed it up but like now I'm like. No, okay, I'm in and out. We're in motion in it too now. She hasn't seen it in a while, man. It's just like. That's it's her a, son. Yeah, man. It's like, it's a, I mean, yeah, you it's can only really imagine. 
Um, Anything more about Dom? I want to try to keep these on track. Anything yeah. more about Philip and Dominic? Uh, <laughs> she's going. I mean, so how do you guys feel about her going after Philip alone without, uh, without Holden? That's a, this is bad news, bears. It's, it's just, bad news, it's bears. Just, but I have... so the plot can happen. <laughs> but like, no, I, but I, I, understand. I understand. I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, like, cause like, man, I get it too. But the shit y'all have been through, take take your man's with. The but, OPA. But, but I think where she's coming from is like Marcos is like the very extremist of the OPA. And James Holden is everything that they despise. You know what I mean? So well, those belters like Holden in the bar. You're gonna see some differences in. Obviously, the, they're like, sure they're not like all the like belters. Like you're, you're, you're gonna see some differences in, in the in the belter faction this season. But like Marcos is on the very extreme side of that, so her showing up with Holden would would be pretty pretty. I sort of like had him hidden in case just an emergency. Like don't you don't have to like parade him around, but like yeah, yeah I, I he could have stayed on the ship. Yeah. Like I I, I agree. Marcos is just like this fuck. He, dude, he's about to throw. Off, if I'm what I'm thinking, I, I guess the last last season. He's about to throw a fucking asteroid or a comet, whatever the fuck it is, at Earth. Like, straight up. Like, fuck the nukes. I'm throwing an asteroid. I have a question. The, the whole heist at the beginning. Sorry, are we jumping around? No, no, no. no you're, 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 it's all the same thing. It's the same asteroid yeah, shit that's coming there's after. There's a lot. That, there's a lot. They didn't shoot it with a missile. They like No, those were asteroids. Yeah, they, they let the it was in the trajectory of that, that yes, thing that, yes. that, that, that snapped off. So, like, like but they knew it was happening. Yeah. So, they... Are responsible for that? Yes, or like, yes. They, they're the they, ones. They know the tr- like. They're manipulating that shit, and, and then like, and if anything, smart. I think because you can't detect that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like you saw you saw the asteroid when it flew close to the sun or whatever. Yeah, it, it split it off. Apart, yeah. Yeah. they they use the magnetic field of, of the sun to. Uh, but did they push the asteroid themselves to do that so that it you would saw it go last, around and? You saw it last. I, I you saw it last. Confirm, nor did I. You, you saw it last <laughs> season where like he had him ready to kind of go the asteroids. Remember. Yeah, and they were just like. Yeah, I think yeah, he yeah. So they 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 because no, the whole entire thing and like they, have, they were by that planet right, like the ship that they robbed. Venus was by Venus. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. where the asteroid burned up was Venus. It was near Venus. It was it was Never. heading towards Venus. Yeah, okay. and, and it was sure kind of that... missing it a little bit, but it's like. The trajectory like, well, when the thing burns up, the debris it floats around yeah, yeah, yeah. the well, orbit, and then so they, they knew the ship was there, maybe, and they calculated well, the amount of time it would. Why is they're well, on well, it because they had that timer on yeah. them? So like, hey, and the then, rocks are And coming. then on top of that, the it, ship. It, sorry, uh, here we go. The ship like figured out that there was that coming towards or whatever. It was like getting everything figured out. So they literally cut cut off that communication right away before it got to Earth that there's something coming. It. Uh, it, it could like catch into orbit, but if it's far enough away, they use it as a slingshot to like speed it up. Yeah, it's just like they use what as a slingshot. The comet, the, the planet. Like uh, instead of catching into orbit, like it was far enough away where it would just slingshot off of it. The gravity, right? Yeah. That's so That's cool, man. They're works, like they yeah. put so much detail into the beginning, just like, the Hasimi ship, to... everything. You know what I mean? The Hasimi ship scene had like everything. Like to not use missiles, also, it, it would be harder for a ship to see it coming that like an asteroid debris is gonna fuck them over, right? Yeah. Like, is that I don't know. I feel like that's pretty smart. Really, really they're throwing dudes. rocks. These kids are throwing rocks. They're throwing rocks and <laughs> shit. So that's going on. Let's let's move on to Amos for a little bit. Amos, Amos has uh. Now you guys are so excited. He's going to fucking Baltimore. Amos, Next episode is called the Churn. They they treat these characters so well. They know what we love about them. Amos, of course, mean mugging people right off the bat. We got the very cool <laughs> atmospheric fight scene where he's just like. This is what I do. I'm just take a cold shower and just wash like, this off, wash this blood off. He just like sitting there, and just like he's almost like he's enjoying. He's like drinking his own blood, like, like he's coming oh out of his God. mouth like a vampire <laughs> almost. You know what I mean? Like he yeah. just like loves it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's, ah. he's in a place mentally, bro. Right now, but I'm, the, the, I know the, they're gonna expand on that. Dude, there are some people that enjoy that. I know a friend. Say Will, you don't know his last name. Will. He's like he told me how he not our him. Will. Yeah, he told me in person how he got into a fight, and he just like, he's like, I love that shit. Like, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, bro, are you serious? Actually, Arwell loves fighting, too. He's so. like, loves the blood. I was like, what do you, what do you mean? Are you okay? He's like, dude, I'm, don't, I'm not doing anything. He's like, all right. Will, Will told me, like, if you ever get, like, surrounded by people who are about to fight you, you, just go up to him and start smiling and, like, get, get like, a look in your eyes. And he's like, I love fucking fighting. People run away from me when I do that shit. <laughs> I'm like, I bet they would. I would, shit. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Rona, we keep interrupting No, you. no, he interrupted me. I was <laughs> like, wow, I didn't know this about Will. Um, but the thing about Amos, guys, I don't know if he's like a good guy and he, why he's up to people about the insurance. Like, is he a good guy or is he like the Hulk always underlining angry? And so like, See, I think he tries to be the good guy, which is a really, it's, it's hard to be the good guy. I feel like it, 
It's like, crazy. It's like, you know, it's, it, you know what? It's always hard to be the good guy, I feel like, these days. You know what I mean? But, like, he tries to be the good guy. Because in this world where, like, literally, people get, like, have too much. And what happened back there actually, I feel like, happens to mules all the time. And, like, when people cross the border in Mexico, like, mules will literally straight up, like, add on costs to people that they're bringing over. And they have nothing to do but pay for that shit. Like, there's nothing else to do. The coyotes. Yeah, yeah, you know? Like, coyotes and mules. You know, I forget. How yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, like... I feel like at that moment, even how Amos was like, no, I'll do it for myself. I, I don't think he was, man. He just, he, I think he knows what it's like to be weak. He's been in that state where he's been a very, very weak person where no one was there to help him. Mm -hmm. And now that he was able to survive and be like a cockroach and be the way he is right now and be as strong as he is, I feel like he himself, he has to help the people that he can't I help people. himself. I, I think it's a little bit of both because clearly he does have that righteousness in him when like, you know, he was helping with Prax and his daughter and he was like, I am that guy. Yeah, amazing. But he also does crave a fight. I think. I feel like, like he does. The, the he whole really shower scene kind of shows that. Like, he's just like, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love that. He was, yeah, I hate he's waiting. a little bit of a glutton for punishment. He's like, I'm gonna go to the shower. <laughs> I hate waiting. <laughs> That, that was pretty much straight out of the book. That was, that was, are you serious? Yeah. The, That's um, fucking so well written. The yeah, conversation you guys are great. that he had with the Versarala was like the best thing. That <laughs> she just like had to ask him because like she's like, oh, you know, y'all are always up to some shady shit. So I had to ask. He's like a babysitter, like a mom. Like he's like, hey, I, I just gotta know. Like, yeah, I can't, like, I cannot bail you out. You can't call her Chrissy. Watch your language. Yeah, man. it's like I'm a, I'm a diplomat, not a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> he was straight up hitting on her. It was great. It was uh, like, I mean, those are my two favorite characters for sure. So it's so nice to see them in a scene together. Yes. I, I really was so happy to see that scene. They don't get but, that many scenes. Yeah, no. But piggybacking off and going up to Ava Sorella, it sucks where she's at right now. But I got to give it to my girl for like she being, is sticky. She's it. still sitting in the back, pulling strings, trying to figure shit out. She's she like, got, you know what? I got a job. She got Bobby, and she's doing her job well. That like is meant to be like kind of like not ridicule for her, but you know, she's actually. Sitting there and doing good solid work. Yeah. You know she like mean? quit and whatever. She has face and pride, and I love that about her. You know? they, they, honestly, there is some see. parallels to the wire, like McNulty on the on the boat job, but he's still like good police. Like you know, like good good people are gonna be good people no matter where you stick them. You know? yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She didn't really cuss. You know, hard word shit. I think. <laughs> yeah, but with that, you know what I mean. She's doing what she's doing, and obviously she has uh, going on to the next part. She has fucking um, a drummer doing shit for her in Mars, but like drummer or Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. what am I saying? Yeah. So Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Gunny. Ugh. Yeah, she has Gunny doing shit for her like on Gunny? Mars. Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Sorry. Bobby. I'm sorry. She's you're, gunnery you're sergeant. Confusing <laughs> the hell out of me right now. She was a gunnery. <laughs> sorry, sergeant. you're confused. Yeah, no, Bobby's awesome, dude. She's obviously. Dealing with some things of her own, you know, not being a, um, in the army or whatever anymore and everything. But she's doing her best, I feel. She was a, sorry for but, but I want to, she was a very, very prideful soldier. She was like the who, like the who, like she's, you know, Ura, she was that soldier, you mm -hmm. know, Mar Martian Marine, all that craziness, believed in her, very, very loyal. And then now she just like has fallen from grace because everything she believed in is not what she believed in anymore. Yeah, yeah like the, I think the, she's pretty depressed. Yeah, right she's now. like depressed because the Martian army has completely not, was not what she wanted because of all the shit that they it's had. It's turned had. into a black market now. Yeah, and then they, they, they fucking, they, they got rid of her. She's got court martial, so she doesn't believe in that anymore. And then the, the place that she lives in that she believed in so much, Mars, is now just being abandoned by all the people that believed in Mars in the first place to go somewhere else. So she's just, I feel, broken as fuck. And like, after watching the scene and watching her face, I just it, it makes so much more sense now. Uh, I'm gonna say it again. I said the reaction. She's she's Captain America. She's Captain Mars. She's like she fought in the military. I think she still believes in Mars, and I think, I think she's, she's actually gonna try to do what she can to to rebuild it if possible. Like I, I don't know if there is any rebuilding to do, but it's I don't think she would give up on Mars. Maybe, maybe or maybe that's just her coming to terms with it this season. Yeah. I I also while we're on Mars. Mm -hmm. Alex Kummel and uh, his wifey, Tally. they ain't doing too well. There's no way they're doing well. I mean, this yeah. kid is still in school, at least, but... I mean, yeah. I don't blame Tally at all, and you see, like, it's just not her who's affected, it's their son, too. Like, you can even say, I love you back to, like, his mm -hmm. dad, with all good reason, too. Like, I'm with the kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's like, can I, I come hang out? <laughs> like, no, no. I mean, what? yeah, he straight up left, and then he just shows up out of the blue again. Like, no warning. No I mean, tact. Like, yeah, yeah. The, it was very, yeah, very... Even, even if he was there for the kid, no, you're not coming and hanging out when my <laughs> friends and I are hanging out. Even if we were close, no. no go away, Dad. And, and yeah, I like what Talia said to him. That's like, I'm not giving you the satisfaction of any answer. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. For yeah. sure. 
Because it was a win-win the way she described it for him, regardless. Deserved. <clears throat> Deserved. Um, <coughs> let's talk about our man Holden. He, nice thing, yep. Yeah, so he was in the room after he you know, talked to the Naomi thing. We have a commercial playing in the background or news or whatever. It's free market. Scientists, archaeologists, etc. are discovering the molecule. Everybody's digging up everything. It's a different kind of world right now. How do you guys all feel about that, I guess? No, I mean, it's literally a, a gold rush. Yeah. It's like... I, mean, I don't know what do you do after like I mean like, I think the mo- the cre- the scene that I really enjoyed the most to see where Holden standing in this world is the scene where he had with the reporter where the reporter was like you're Greg Hol I mean you're you're James Holden you know what I mean you're 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 a fucking hero everybody trusts you everybody the believes entire you entire system trusts him it, it trusts you the, and I'm the, like wait yeah everybody does like the, and then and then you see the Belters who fucking oh, hate yeah, the yeah. inners go oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's yeah. like oh man so he's that dude like he's that guy. So, like, he, I feel like, himself is, like, dealing with a lot of inner emotions on what to fucking do. Because inner emotions, Ooh. I say. <laughs> but, like, he's like, what to fucking do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, here he is, you know what I mean? He's on an OPA, he's, he's with the Belters, obviously. He has his own ship, he has everything going on. But there's all this fuckery still going on. It's I like, mean, that reporter stirred it up, and that's why I made him go confront Fred. Yeah. Like, so it's like, what do you do? But also, you know, Fred's right. Like, s- settle down, champ. You know, exactly. Think about it's the like, future a little bit. You want like, kids? What do you do? What do you, you do? It's so you're hard. Puppy. It's so hard to settle down when you feel like you're the chosen one. You keep getting these visions, and you have to tell people, like, hey, <laughs> hey, they're angrier now. They're more mad. Stop yeah. doing this. <laughs> time go there, they're like, <laughs> she's like, you don't understand. Every time I go through, it's like they're getting angrier, man. I was like, it's oh. Like, it does sound like the ramblings of a madman, but I, 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 I like Fred is like you're trying to convince me of brain damage right now. Like, but I did like the analogy Dude. of like the folded paper when you unfold it, still crease, like you still mm. went through something. He literally said in my head again. Yeah, it's in my head. <laughs> it's in my head. Trust me. I, I, like, my, my head cannon. When he when he just turned around and those people were gone, we thought something was gonna happen. He was. Just like, <laughs> I know you freaking out. <laughs> so even him himself was like, "Am I in a thing? I don't know." I will. I will say that Greg, uh, James Holden. Why do you say Greg? Because that kiss of. I'll talk later. Because, like, cause, like, fucking, because James, uh, what do you want to say? Because, like, he's, first of all, he's he's, he's worked out. Dude is worked oh, out. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Out. That hey, dude he's worked out. A season he's, ago. Like, he looks like he can just, like we said earlier, destroy Jon Snow now. And, uh, poor Kit Harrington. <laughs> you guys surprised that Fred didn't know the, you know, the threat of the molecule it could bring? Like, the, the level of threats? Like, he was like, oh, I didn't know it could, you know, kill lives. Fred has an it's gonna be okay yeah, mentality. I think I think he was more surprised yeah. at, like, oh. <laughs> has a what mentality? It's gonna be it's okay gonna mentality. Be all right. oh, it's alright. It's alright. Right. Yeah, right. right. We got it secure. So, he, hey, alright. I think that he was surprised to hear that the people that engineered the protomolecule are, like, meaning to threaten us. But I'm like, how is that that hard to believe, though? Like, they created the protomolecule. Yeah. Protomolecules done nothing but mess your shit up, like... Even that girl, uh, Elki, El- Elkai, whatever Elkai. it was. Elvi Okoya. Elvi, yeah, she, she sent like a, a stimulation, a simulation of like what they... What, what she, was in her head, guys? So can you, can you refresh my memory? Did she go through yeah, that Yeah, remember hole? she did. That's yeah. what I was like, is and she back? And then she got back? Yeah. I, I forgot so, she came so. back. I think so. How, what did she see? That's what she saw. Yeah, yeah, that's the simulation. The simulation she made. she made, she saw it. And that's when, and that's when Fred, and that's when uh, Fred was like, so these things... <laughs> yeah. Might attack us? That was a real dumb moment for Fred. <laughs> I'm like, like, yes! <laughs> we may like, like surprise face. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I don't know what happened to Fred Jones. Obviously, he's like, yeah, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh! So, yeah, so these things can attack us? Like, he just uh, is like being very, very like. And then, like. Dumb or paid off or something. I don't know. And but, after but, that, I'm sorry. Answer your question from earlier about the whole gold rush thing and like the economy is booming. <laughs> Uh, now the show's title makes more sense to me. This, this is this is the expanse. It is the expanse. Like, of the universe. If like let's say there is a, a hundred year time skip, they deal with the promocule shit. We're all we're just gonna fall back into the same habits. Like planets that have like really good resources are gonna be policed. They're gonna like be like have reasons to war to go there to milk it of its resources. You have to. I mean, what? Like, what? Always, James Holden said it. He said things never the change. Yeah, he's gonna say things will never change, he's and like, then and he goes. But then Fred goes. Well, the world will go on. Yes, dude, that was such a good scene. Whew. Anything else? Is there more? I think we talk. Oh, these things. were all my notes. The last thing we saw was like Lavelle City before her Christian and Amos scene. Yeah, so that's where it. like she's at a gas station, but no, which we, is on Luna. Luna, yeah. But uh, those were. Is Luna the, the moon? moon? Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I read a book called uh, 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 Atlas, and it's by. 
Mark Weir? Andy Weir. He did The Martian. He wrote The Martian. Andy Weir. And so Weir. he knows his space stuff. And so when he like described those like moon bases, he did a really good job. And so I How knew does he know his space for stuff? sure. He's like a engineer. He's like a... Oh, no, he's going to be my new hobby to read <laughs> about. Weir. You should read The Martian. I mean, it's Yeah, like that's how you would, like if we did ever live on the moon, that would be the way, the yeah. best way to do it, to yeah. utilize it in space. I see this every Expanse video, but there's this YouTube video out there that talks about what how our space exploration would be if we spent the defense budget on the space exploration budget. Oh, bro. It's fucking nuts. Wow. We so could we all just put our guns down and stop fighting. Yeah, we could have... We, we no, no, no. no they, 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 in that video, they calculated we, we would have had uh, bases on uh, Pluto. Like the... the uh, <laughs> no, no, what, bases on the um, uh, Mar uh, moons of Jupiter. Okay. All right. Like, yeah, we we, 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 we would be able to do that by now. Ganymede? Yeah. Right, come check out what my Ganymede. All right. We're going to go. This was great. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Wow, 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 what a premiere. We are so excited to be back in this world. So excited to be watching it with all of you. Thank you so much for all of your support, all of our YouTube watchers, our patrons, and especially our super patrons. We couldn't do this without you. We can't wait to watch more with you, and we'll see you next week.